Well, hello there. Woodsong here, back again with another Woodsong radio. Uh, I actually had a different location picked out today. There's a really neat butterfly uh, exhibit over here in this particular park I'm in. Unfortunately, there was a beautiful spider web right in the best position to, to, to uh, record from. Uh, down here in Texas, we get the, uh, the horned orb spinners, which are just beautiful spiders, and they, they spin the Charlotte's Web type of uh, spider webs. Um, and I did not want to disturb it, so I just kind of left it alone and found myself a little place to sit down instead. So I apologize if there's some shakiness in this video. I left my uh, tripod in the car, so I'm trying to handhold the camera. So we're going to go ahead and start off with another reading. Uh, like always, we're going to pick three cards. We're going to take the first card, which is going to give us something to consider, uh, suggest some type of area, area we might want to uh, ponder on a bit. The second card will tell us a little bit more about it, and then this, this third card will help us give us some ideas of how to resolve that type of situation that we might, might find ourselves in. So let's go ahead and start with our first card. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, knights in, in general are, are, I don't want to call them fully mature cards. They're, they're not totally immature mature cards. They've got ideas about what they want to do and they have some thoughts about how they want to accomplish it. The, this knight in particular is a very solid, steady takes a safe path, takes the conservative path, takes a path that's going to work out most of the time for most of the people. Uh, he's not out running around. In fact, if we look at his horse, his horse is just kind of standing there. It, that suggests that type of solidity, that type of, you can always count on this guy. He's always going to have your back. He's going to take the safe route. He's not out to, to ride around and, and charge around and wave swords around. He's thinking about the, the, the best options. I think I've, I've said it before that if, if this guy were a football player, he would not be a running back or a, uh, a quarterback or wide receiver. He'd be somebody on the offensive line, just a solid, steady guy you can always count on. So if we start off with this card, now, there are... It's something about face cards. Some readers claim that whenever you see a face card in a reading, it always refers to a person that you know or a person you will know. I don't always hold with that. Sometimes I, f I feel it's more that it's the aspect that it suggests. So this might suggest in your life taking conservative cho making conservative choices, making safe choices rather than risky choices, or at least considering them rather than risky choices. Um, it could refer to a per person, but I'm, I'm, I've got the feeling here that we're talking about uh, things that you want to consider yourself. So in areas where you have choices coming up, in areas where you have uh, things you have to consider, you, you know, things you have to, to decide what to do, uh, you might want to consider the conservative safe route. Even though the, the, the risky route may be a little more exciting and a little more fun, you might be better off taking this conservative route. Now why do that? Let's take a look at our second card. Oh, gee, okay. These two cards may actually be contrasts. Okay, here are our two choices. We can go the safe, secure route, or we can go the Page of Swords route. If we take a look at this fellow, he's uh, he's just having a ball. He's running around. He's excited about things. He's having a great time, and he's waving the sword all over the place. Sounds like fun, unless you happen to be standing next to him, in which case you make make it cut by the sword. So, these really kind of suggest the two two extremes here: the safe and conservative route, the wild and risky that may have a high downside. Okay, so. When faced with these two type of things, what do we do when we can't decide between one or the other? How should, can we best... Hmm, okay. The Two of Cups. Two of Cups normally suggest renewing a friendship or establishing a new friendship, uh, just, just making a, a acquaintance with someone, enjoying that particular uh, uh, type of camaraderie that you have when you, when you become friends with people. In this case, though, given these first two cards, I think this this suggests maybe we want to, to take these two and kind of combine them. Maybe we don't need to go the complete conservative and safe and dull way. Maybe we don't need to go the, the totally wild and whiskey way. Maybe somewhere in between. Maybe if we have these two particular options meet each other and know each other if, so we can examine them both fully and consider them, we might see positive points here that we want to apply. We might see positive points here that we might want to apply. We may see things we want to avoid in both choices. By considering both of these options carefully, we may be able to come up with a mix, with a third option uh, that, that may serve us best. You know, we're going to do something different this time. I'm going to pull another card, and we're going to try to find something that will help us make that decision. And what we have is the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is a very creative, a very energetic, and a very confident person. So, 
if we apply this here, here's our choices. Safe, conservative, wild, and risky. Are we going to feel safe with either one of those choices? Are we going to feel safe uh, combining those choices? If we're a real conservative person, we might not want to, to adopt any, any uh, risky uh, options. If we're, we're willing to take that wild and, and risky option, we might not feel comfortable with conservative options. Why? Because it's not us. It doesn't feel right to us. What the King of Wands says is, look, be confident. Be confident in whatever decision you make because you're the best person available to make that decision. Even if it's adding something new to the mix, even if it's adding something that you're not confident with one way or the other, be confident that you yourself have the abilities to, to see things through, to, uh, to make that decision work for yourself. So I kind of think that's what we're getting here. Let's take these two options. We want to meld them together. And whatever the result is, whatever we come up with, even if it's something that we might not ordinarily do, if it's something that doesn't feel totally comfortable to us, be confident in your abilities to see that particular uh, solution through. And that's about it for today. Actually, the winds are just picking up, and it's about to blow everything away, so I'm going to go ahead and call a halt to it now. Uh, thanks for, sh uh, for sitting in and listening in. Uh, this is Woodsong, and I'm out till next time. Take care. Bye-bye.